Yo, hey guys, it's me again, and this is how a $100 Rust-Oleum Turbo paint job looks like. If you're watching this video, chances are you're considering doing this to your own car. Well, this Rust-Oleum Turbo Spray makes it super easy to paint your own car without spending hundreds of dollars on professional equipment. Before we jump right into it, I ask that you consider subscribing. It seems that 99.7% of my viewers aren't subscribed. Have you ever seen worse? If you like the content and want to see more car videos, subscribe and hit the little bell icon. I don't do boring vlog style videos that last over 10 minutes just for ad revenue. I get right into it and take pride in actually editing my videos. So consider subscribing, it's free. So, my dad's old Intrepid has been sitting in the sun for years and the original silver paint faded and peeled pretty badly. Uh, we had sprayed my own BMW E46 convertible with color matched spray paint to refinish the faded parts of the car, but each of the cans costed like 25 bucks and it took like 10 cans to do only half of the car. And if you're interested in watching us fail several times on that paint job on my BMW, so that you won't make the same mistakes while spray painting your car, then go watch my video. It should be listed in the top right corner. Anyway, after we successfully failed at spray painting uh, the BMW the first time, we decided to spray something else, which is my dad's car. We had heard that this Rust-Oleum Turbo Spray had like four times wider nozzle and were like twice the size of a traditional spray can and it only cost $10 for each can. So we know we really had nothing to lose. We ended up using like 12 cans for the Dodge Intrepid, which is a large sedan, and even then, we still had to do the roof of the car. The thing is that right now, these Rust-Oleum Turbo cans are pretty much sold out everywhere locally. After waiting like two weeks for Home Depot to get a shipment, we just said fuck it and bought the regular Rust-Oleum spray cans of the same kind, except not turbo. In the background, you're watching me spray the whole car in my garage. I'm not a professional spray painter, so don't expect perfect results. I will say that the end result was actually pretty decent besides some spots with a lot of orange peel. I am not going to get into really how to paint the car with spray cans. I'm pretty sure there are hundreds if not thousands of videos of actual professionals that show you how to paint your own car with spray cans. I just wanted to let you guys know my experience with the turbo product and how it came out. My dad insisted we primered the car beforehand but it really doesn't matter if you sand down the car good enough to where the paint sticks to it. If you really want the best results, I suggest doing very light coats with these turbo cans because they spray a whole lot of paint real fast and if you're too close, it will run pretty bad. I know this from first-hand experience, but this car is probably worth the cost of a 12-pack of strawberry-filled toaster strudels, so we really didn't care about the imperfections on the paint job. The car just sits outside anyway, and I'm pretty sure with the car parked in the driveway, it devalues our property value because of how shitty it looks. After two and a half coats, we ran out of paint because despite the size of these spray cans, they ran out of paint super quick because of the wide nozzle. Another thing I should point out is that with painting my BMW, you can see tiger stripes on the paint because of how narrow the traditional spray cans distribute the paint from the nozzle. But with the wide nozzle on the turbo cans, that wasn't an issue at all. If you're wondering on how shiny the paint looks, after a few nice wet coats, you can see your reflection pretty good. The paint is pretty glossy by itself and you don't really have to use clear coat. Now let's talk about the negative things about the Rust-Oleum Turbo Paint. It is not automotive paint, despite how well it sprays and how much it can cover, it is still an enamel based paint. So after I finished painting it, I waited a few days and clay barred it thinking it would remove some of the orange peel. It did end up removing the orange peel pretty good, but it also got rid of the shiny, glossy look of the paint. It looked more of like a satin color as opposed to glossy. And I will say that the orange peel on the turbo cans doesn't look like regular orange peel. It almost has a textured kind of feel and looks pretty weird. That's why I suggest doing light coats and let the paint dry a good amount before you spray it again. The last clip of the car is basically as good as it got for the look of the car. After clay barring it, there's no more orange peel, but the car isn't as glossy anymore, so what's really the purpose? And like I said before, this product might be sold out at your own local store, 
So if you can't find them in person, you might have to buy them online. I'll put a link in the description on Amazon if you want to buy them online. But overall, for like under $150, the car looks a lot better than what it did before. You won't really notice the imperfections unless you get real close and examine it. But who really wants to look at an old 20 year old Dodge family car anyway? The paint job not only looks better for the car, but for the house too. Have you used this product and had a similar or different experience with it? Let me know in the comments below. I seem to get a lot of hate on other videos on me not spraying products correctly, but if I say the product is shit, then it probably is. This rust Turbo Spray is not shit and I actually prefer it a lot more than spray painting a car with those little traditional spray cans. So I guess that's about it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about the rust Turbo Cans and, and if it's a viable option on painting your car or not. I'm still working on a bunch of other videos, so make sure you guys like and subscribe for more car videos and even tech videos as I am planning on doing a review on my brand new gaming laptop. Um, and if you're into tech and are looking into a laptop, you guys don't definitely, you guys definitely don't want to miss that review because this laptop is on sale for like $600 off uh, with the latest um, Intel processor and RTX 3060 and for some reason nobody's buying these things um, but yeah I guess that's about it for this video and let me know what you guys think Just like and subscribe for more car videos and I guess I'll see you guys later peace